No, no, he's not. James is ruled out. No, no. We all all of the players that we have in the squad are all fit. We we're due to train at five o'clock in Cardiff, and uh, everyone else is fully fit. I think everyone was disappointed to lose against England. Um, you know, it's a difficult game. You know, playing England in Wembley. I think Ireland have never won in Wembley. We wanted to. You want to try and achieve that. Um, yeah, uh, they're in good form, and you know we—it's probably the first match we've played that that we've been not in the ascendancy for a lot of the game, and I think um, you know so we're disappointed to lose the game, but that's you've got a quick turnaround. The, the Nations League games were a greater priority overall, you know, with points at stake. So we've got to focus on that on on Wales tomorrow. You know we've got to focus on Wales tomorrow, and Bulgaria Wednesday. They were the certainly the priority for us. No, I haven't spoken to him. I listened to what he said, and what he said was was perfectly fine. He said he was embarrassed to lose to lose the game three 0 and that's you know that's fine. Yeah, I, th- I think. That, listen, there's nothing wrong with the mentality of of the of the players in the Irish squad. I think that's for sure. You know, I think uh, you know we've a lot of a lot of key players missing out of the squad, but nevertheless, the players that we've called up, they dream of representing their country as as young boys growing up. To play for Ireland is the ultimate ambition. Uh, we've 25 players in the squad now, all good players, and we're ready to play the two games against Wales and Bulgaria. I think we, uh, everyone that's here has a massive desire to play for their country and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the mentality. Just because we've been beaten by England um, in Wembley, there's nothing wrong with the mentality of the players. They, they all give everything of themselves all the time. Yeah, we're a bit unbalanced, you know, I think obviously, um, be, you know, we've not had a, um, at left back, for example, we've brought Ryan Manning in, uh, of course, but he's not played much this season. Uh, he's only played 70 minutes this season, so he's, he's a good, good player for for our future, for sure. Um, so we've been a little bit unbalanced, but I think um, the, uh, the mentality of the players has been good. You know, I think uh, every game is different. And Wales is a different a different game, of course, and it's a tough game going to Cardiff. But we'll make sure that we're absolutely ready. And, uh, you know, it's a quick turnaround from Thursday night. The players are looking forward. We just had a had a meeting. The players are looking forward to training today. And uh, obviously there'll be split groups, players who, who've just come in and into the squad and players that haven't featured that will be looking to train well. Other players, obviously... I've played, <laughs> it'll be very light. They've played Thursday night, so we have to accommodate that. And, uh, you know, we'll make sure that we're, we're, we're in very good form going tomorrow. Thanks very much for your time, Stephen. Thank you. Tony, I don't hear you on TV, please. Thanks, Stephen. Hi. Yeah, I think about the thing about an air, you know, when you think about a mentality, um, there is an example of, of uh, the kind of mentality that you would want an Irish player to have because he's gone on, you know, he's gone on loan to the conference with all the shots, first of all, then gone and played 30 odd games for Exeter in League Two before he went to West Brom and played a part in their promotion winning season. I know he's played some games in the Premier League and he's still only 20. So, he uh, he's been a, a consistent improver over the age groups, 
and he he is a very good young professional. He's certainly he's in contention. He's in contention. Well, I think Jason's not here to make up the numbers. You know, I think we, we uh, you know, we may have included him before now. Uh, but not, we didn't want to include him to sit in the stand when he could be, he could be, you know, playing for the under-21s as an important qualifier. But I think this is the senior international team. That's the, that's the purpose of the underage, um, you know, set up is to produce players for the senior international team. Jason has already made his debut. He's only 18 and he's made his debut in Finland. Again, playing every week in the championship for Derby County. And uh, he's got tremendous drive, really, for, for one so young. And, um, you know, is someone who, who also comes into the squad. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a valid question. Uh, it's a valid question, but you know, I think um, no, I think we're preparing <clears throat> tomorrow. Uh, we played very well against Wales in the game. Well, we played quite well in the game against uh, Wales in in the Aviva Stadium. In that, um, there wasn't loads of chances in the game, and we definitely had the better chances. In the game and you know I think it was an evenly contested game but we marginally maybe were the better side just marginally overall and we had the better chances for sure and I think um, um, but obviously we were at home so we've got to come away here now a lot of changes again in the team so we'll have to go and, and be positive really in our approach tomorrow and, uh, and, 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 and try and win the game Okay, Will Bolton from Virgin, please. Hi, Stephen. How are you? How you doing? Um, Stephen, firstly, um, if you were to get a win over uh, Wales, how much of a boost do you think that would be? And do you think that would be a bit of a springboard for this team then to go forward? <coughs> yeah, well, we're, we're very focused on the game now tomorrow. We've had to digest sort of the disappointment of um, of losing the game and then you know losing another player I think um, so there was an area of disappointment about that again and we travelled up from from London to Cardiff yesterday so the players have had a good night's sleep now and we you know this, today's another day and you know we've had a chat about Wales already and you know the players I think when they I always find when you go to the stadium the night before and you train and the players really feel the match is imminent and the the excitement of training is normally there's normally an edge to it and uh, the players love to hit the back of the net and train and, and I think um, so we've got to work on stuff and make sure we, we perform well tomorrow. Yeah, well, it has been a tough period. Um, you know, you know, I won't deny that. Um, last month and this month, in relation to uh, all that's gone on, I think. Um, but listen, that's. I'm not complaining about that. You've got to deal with it, and that's part of where we are now. And um, I think we've got to. You know, we've got to dust ourselves down quickly. And make sure we're really positive today in the training and make sure we're ready for tomorrow. And I think that's uh, that's important. Every single player going out wants to earn every cap. You know, every cap that they play is important to them. And I think uh, so they will certainly, uh, the chance to represent your country is, is you know, is is why they, you know, is, is a big ambition for them all. And I think hopefully, uh, um, 
we, we know it's a tough game in Wales tomorrow. We know that they're on a great run. Um, but we want to we want to go and, and, and try and try and win the game. Okay, we've got a minute left of the uh, live section, so to end the live section, just go to Damien Spellman of PA please. Uh, I think, I think whether you en whether I enjoy it or not is not the priority. I wouldn't say at the moment. I think trying to make the team successful is more a priority. I think, uh, um, you know, I'm not pleased that we haven't scored in the last. You know, I'm disappointed that we haven't scored in the in you know in the last few games. And I think, um, you know, I think we did it. We did a sort of collage, a sort of. The opportunities that we had over the previous four games, leaving the England game out, and um, you know we, we watched it together collectively, and and just you know I said that we missed you know a high, very very high number of chances, and uh, but we were creating chances. The England game was a tougher game for us. Alan Brown's chance aside, and some sort of half chances, it was it was a difficult game to create chances. This is a new game against Wales, and um, you know. We want to try and perform well and, and try and get that, that elusive win that we need. Okay, this is now the embargo.